Greetings, Genesee Valley. Welcome to this week's Suncast, where you can be in the know about all of your hometown news and events. Today, we're at the home of Karen Hopkins of Avon, who uses geothermal system to heat and cool her home, installed by Van He Mechanical. Karen went from using three to 4,000 gallons of fuel a year to using zero. She only pays her electric bill for energy. For her 9,000 square foot home, she pays 100 bucks a month to cool. And here we are with Jim Van He, Van He Mechanical. What is it about Karen that's working out so well for her? Well, I would say uh, the biggest thing is her, her savings. Uh, we went through a, from a very inefficient steam boiler system to uh, uh, geothermal, which is uh, doing very well for her energy savings and uh, good for the environment, too. Excellent. And there's a lot of myths about uh, geothermal energy, heating and cooling. And uh, what's the biggest myth about it? Well, I think uh, people have a hard time believing that the ground that you walk on will actually heat and cool your home. But, uh, and um, I guess the other thing is in the northern climates, people have a hard time believing, too, that uh, in this area that geothermal will work for them. But um, we've proven it many times. We have about 450 installs mm -hmm. around the local areas, and uh, every one of them are, are doing very well. Now, a lot of people feel that um, they're a little intimidated by the price of this, but what is it about uh, geothermal that actually brings to the value of your home? Uh, a lot of big homes, if they have a, a big old oil burner or gas burner or something like that, LP burner, whatever you want to say, uh, they have a hard time selling that home. So uh, some of those homes now are in the case where uh, the bigger homes, they can keep their home. They can keep their home because now they've cut their costs down in half or more, and now they'll be able to stay in a bigger home because of geothermal. Now for your hometown news. The Nieves family lost their garage and their cat in a fire at their Center Street home. The house was saved by a quick response from the Geneseo Police and Fire Departments. Fast thinking police officer Jason Yasso was on the scene within a minute of the 911 call where he evacuated the family, which included six children. It's hot now, but Five Star Bank in Mount Morris is thinking ahead to Christmas time. The community bank donated $500 to Christmas in Mount Morris. The money will go toward the annual holiday event, which includes Santa, a horse and carriage ride, and the Parade of Lights. One way you can stay cool over the weekend and enjoy what the community has to offer is by attending the Geneseo Community Players production, Pippin. The play starts at 8 p.m. this Friday and Saturday at the Alice Austin Wadsworth Theater on the SUNY Geneseo campus. If the play doesn't work for you, drive on down to the Hemlock Fair for one of the region's best demolition derbies. This Saturday night, starting at 6 p.m., you can watch locals and their mean machines in redneck mayhem. Well, folks, there you have it. Be sure to check back daily to thegeneseesun.com for all your local news. Be sure to drink plenty of water in this heat and always buckle up.